Introducing Joe Biden, a great figure in American politics. Hailing from Scranton, Pennsylvania, his life story extends with its share of challenges. Through the chapters of his political career, Biden's actions, for better or worse, have left a lasting impact on the nation's narrative. Let's see the details of Joe Biden's story, looking at the twists that have influenced his role in American politics and how he rose to power. Normal, normal has become living a nightmare. My husband has seen his share of bullies and of trials and of tragedies. These people are being crushed. This is a battle for the soul of the United States of America. Joe Biden was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania. His story began in a middle-class family in Scranton, but it was in Delaware that he found his political home. After studying at the University of Delaware and Syracuse Law School, he served in the Newcastle County Council. At 29, he became one of the youngest people ever elected to the U.S. Senate. However, tragedy struck shortly after his Senate election when a devastating car accident claimed the lives of his wife and daughter and left his sons critically injured. Since the accident, Biden himself been living at a hospital in Wilmington, Delaware, taking care of his sons. Today, the senator took his swearing-in ceremony. Joseph Biden, Democrat This gut-wrenching event carved a profound and arduous chapter into Biden's narrative, a period that would sculpt his character and courage in the years that followed. In 1977, Biden married Jill Jacobs, and together they built a family, completing it with the birth of their daughter Ashley in 1980. Jill, a lifelong educator, earned her doctorate in education and returned to teaching as an English professor, contributing to their shared commitment to education. Biden became the junior U.S. Senator from Delaware in 1973 by beating Republican J. Caleb Boggs. He focused on issues like ending the Vietnam War, protecting the environment and civil rights, improving public transportation, changing taxes and healthcare, and addressing people's dissatisfaction with politics as usual. He stayed in the Senate for a long time, from 1981 to 1997, and led the Senate Judiciary Committee from 1987 to 1995. During this time, he played a big role in confirming Supreme Court justices like Robert Bork and Clarence Thomas. Biden also wrote and helped pass the Violence Against Women Act. For 12 years, he was part of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, where he influenced U.S. foreign policy on important issues like terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, the Middle East, Southwest Asia, and the end of apartheid. In 2008, Biden sought the presidency, but faced challenges garnering enough support to continue the campaign, leading to his withdrawal. However, fate took a turn when Barack Obama invited Biden to join him as his running mate. The dynamic duo secured victory in the election, defeating John McCain and Sarah Palin. As vice president, Biden assumed a significant role. He spearheaded the implementation of the $840 billion economic stimulus package, chaired the middle class task force, and contributed significantly to negotiating the START treaty with Russia emphasizing his commitment to economic recovery and international diplomacy. Biden's influence extended to matters of conflict, providing valuable advice on issues in Iraq and Afghanistan. His tenure as vice president was marked by a diverse range of responsibilities, showcasing his dedication to addressing both domestic and global challenges. Be the first to know about our upcoming content. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now let's get back to Biden. Joe Biden tried to become president for the first time in 1987. In the beginning, he seemed strong, raising more money than others. But problems came up. People accused him of copying, making false claims, and exaggerating his education. Instead of being at the top of his law school class, he was actually near the bottom. Because of these issues, he quit the race in 1987. In 2008, he gave it another shot, but had to stop because not enough people supported him. Then, he teamed up with Barack Obama and became his running mate. He decided not to run in 2016 because his oldest son, Bo, passed away from brain cancer. Hillary Clinton won the Democratic primary, but she lost the election to Donald Trump. In 2019, Biden said he wanted to be president again. He talked about a battle for the soul of our nation. By June 2020, he got enough support to be the nominee. He picked Senator Kamala Harris as his running mate. Together, they faced President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence and won the election in November 2020. During the debates between Joe Biden and President Donald Trump, they talked about many important things. One big topic was COVID-19. 
Biden didn't agree with how Trump dealt with the pandemic, but Trump said his administration did a good job. They also discussed national security, where Biden said any country trying to mess with American elections should face consequences. But Trump said Biden got benefits from connections with Russia and China. Crime and climate change were on the table too. Biden admitted to making mistakes in the past about drug-related laws. He disagreed with Trump's claims that his climate plan supported the Green New Deal. When it came to healthcare, Biden supported a public option, but he didn't back Medicare for all. Trump didn't like the Affordable Care Act, ACA, and wanted people to know he got rid of the individual mandate from it. The debate showed that Biden and Trump had different ideas about these important issues that affect the whole country. Both Biden and Trump got more people to vote. In the suburbs, Biden got 54% of the votes, more than Clinton did in 2016. Biden and Harris got more votes from men, while Trump gained more female voters. Trump got more Hispanic votes, but Biden got more overall votes. On November 7, 2020, Biden shared a plan for a big stimulus package to help during the pandemic. But Trump said there was fraud in the election. People on social media and during protests also made claims. On January 6, 2021, some of Trump's supporters interrupted the Electoral College vote by attacking the U.S. Capitol to protest the election results. President Biden made some changes to important rules. First, he stopped a ban on refugees from certain places and increased the number allowed from 15,000 set by the last president. He also cancelled rules that made it easier for companies to follow regulations. President Biden wants to make sure LGBTQ plus refugees have the same chances to seek safety. Another important change is that families seeking safety won't be separated at the border anymore. There's also a group working to bring back together families that were split before. Lastly, President Biden is working towards having a minimum wage of $15 for everyone in the country. People often see Biden as a moderate Democrat in the middle of things. In his first year as a senator, some calculations from UCLA's vote view said he was more liberal than 70% of other senators, but more conservative than 53% of Democrats. Later, in 2009, the numbers showed he was 69% more liberal than all the senators, but more conservative than 50% of Democrats. He once said he's liberal when it comes to civil rights, older Americans, and health care. But on topics like abortion and the draft, he sees himself as more conservative. In the 1980s, Biden was an important member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He supported and helped make a tough-on-crime law called the Comprehensive Crime Control Act. But later, he admitted some parts of it were a big mistake. In 2020, Biden wrote in a USA Today article that he doesn't think money from the government should go to police departments that violate people's rights or use violence too quickly. But he also said he doesn't agree with taking money away from the police, which is called defunding the police. In conclusion, Biden has been involved in making laws about crime, but he realizes some parts were wrong, and he doesn't support taking away all the money from the police. While being president, Joe Biden approved many laws. He signed a $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package and a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. He also made into law a bill about climate and health spending. In 2022, he signed a law about controlling guns, which makes background checks stricter. Additionally, he made the Violence Against Women Act stronger with a new law. Join the conversation and share your insights about Biden's leadership. We want to hear your perspective on Joe Biden's role in global politics. Your thoughts matter to us, so please drop them in the comments below.